Welcome to Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com. I'm Raph Nickerson. It's opening weekend for football in the state of Texas. Tonight's game is being held at Mercer Stadium in Sugarland, Texas. Last year, the Bears of Hastings High School went 1-9 on the year and 1-5 in district. Tonight, they kick off their 2012 campaign against the Vikings of Dallas High School of Fort Bend. Dallas was 2-2 two two in district play last year. But this year, senior quarterback Robert Harris is looking to open up the offense and take advantage of all the speed the Vikings have in the wideout position. The Vikings start the opening drive on the ground with Rayvon Felton. They ran the ball 32 times, 485 yards. For the Bears, they had no luck on the ground against the Vikings D. 79 yards on 30 rushing attempts for the game. In the second quarter, the Vikings start to wake up on offense. First, Felton with a strong run for a first down. Then Harris connects with Maury Smith. Touchdown Vikings, or is it? Holding call on the play is coming back. Coach Jim Creech is just giving his player a little motivational talk. Harris says, don't worry about it, coach. We got this. You know, I saw that the safety and the corners, they like to jump the, uh, the run a lot. And coach had called my number. Really, it wasn't even my number. I just knew I was going to be open. And, you know, I kind of gave my quarterback the look. And, you know, he put it on the money. And it was a good pass. Well, it was a deep pass to my wide receiver, Maurice Smith. And all I saw was, the last thing I saw was the blitz coming up the middle. And I chunked it to him because I knew he, that's Mr. Reliable right there. So I knew he would catch it. Dulles came into the game without a kicker, so they go for two. Count it. The score is eight to nothing in the second quarter. Hastings has no answer for the Vikings defense. Harris is able to move the chains with his legs. Then, the inside handoff to Smith, who goes through Brees to a wide open Felton for 52 yards and a Viking touchdown. Dulles goes for two. Matt McGee with the catch, 16 to nothing Dulles over the Fighting Bears of Hastings High School. The Vikings head into the half with a commanding lead and holding the Bears to only five passing yards. In the second half, the Dulles defense continues to be just plain nasty. Harris goes long again to who else? Number 24, Maurice Smith, for his second touchdown catch of the night. Uh, well, you know, as a receiver, you have to know in your mind that you're better than a DB. And, you know, it's kind of hard for me to say that because I play both ways. So it's kind of, you know, you want to know that every time you come off your route, you're going to get the ball. And every time you get the chance to get the ball, you got to make it happen. The two-point conversion is no good, and the Vikings lead 22 to nothing. Hastings end the game with a total of 84 offensive yards and only five of those in the air. Harris didn't throw much, but when he did, he was effective. He had eight completions on 13 attempts for 93 yards and only one interception. Last year, this time, I was over there on the sideline with crunches. Now I'm back, and we're ready to take over Fort Bend. 
I'm Raph Nickerson, and thanks for watching Comcast High School Sports on Demand, powered by MaxPreps.com.